Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing over the topic of indie animation and going over the top 10 of indie animated shows and movies you should look forward for. So, if you don't know what indie animation is, indie animation is independent animation that are full of original animated stories, shows, movies, and more, being produced outside the animation industry. They have been around for years being shown on sites like Newgrounds and YouTube, with small creators making their own content. There are independent studios and small creators, creating their own original work and content without the help of larger studios and companies. More original, diverse stories are being pushed and made by new artistic voices, allowing for more creativity and experimentation with other indie projects. We will make a part two video to this, as there were more indie animated projects to talk about, but we ran out of time. With that being said, let's start to go over the top 20 indie animated shows and movies to look out for. Number one, The Lovers. The Lovers is an indie animated short film being produced by Studio Heartbreak. It is an WLW animated thriller about a siren and a seafood chef set in a dark fantasy, Philippines. It follows Sarah Lim Balon, a reluctant seafood chef from Binondo, Manila. As the youngest member of her family to run their restaurant, Sarah faces the daunting pressure to live up to her late father's reputation and keep the business afloat. When the governor's inauguration dinner is planned at the restaurant, featuring a Serena as the centerpiece, Sarah finds herself drawn into a dangerous affair with the mythical creature. Studio Heartbreak was founded by a group of college students and has since been built up by a team of animation professionals bringing together hard skills. Their team members have worked for animation studios including Powerhouse, Piero, Mappa Studio, The Line, and contributed to Attack on Titan, Legend of Pipi, Chiaki's Journey, Baruto, and more. The studio has organically amassed a following on Instagram and Twitter and their project has been trending and rapidly approaching over $250,000 in funding on Kickstarter. The concept for this film seems amazing and hopefully they'll gain enough money to make this. Keep up with their socials and their crowdfunding campaign. Link in the description. Number two, Chew Gum. That it's all my fault. I wound up misled. Chew Gum is a new adult animated musical series created by Shane Curry, starring two best friends who start a band with grand delusions. The music they hear in their heads never translates to their hands. The series draws influences from shows like Seafull and Ollie, Home Movies, Flight of the Concords, Venture Bros, and Moral Oral. It's a musical comedy that ratchets you up through the euphoric musical highs of following your dreams, then drops you straight down into the head-decapitating summit of accepting reality. If you guys are interested in music and characters singing, then we would recommend an upcoming show like Chew Gum. It has reached over 280,000 followers on TikTok and early incarnations of the characters have garnered over 28 million viewers on TikTok alone. $30,000 is the minimum stretch goal that Chew Gum needs to achieve quickly, before its goal date June 30th on Kickstarter. So go fund the crowdfunding campaign. Link is in the description. Number three, Lumi and the Great Big Galaxy. Chlorine! Seriously, what is this? Lumi and the Great Big Galaxy is a original animated series about six aliens traveling the galaxy to help a lost star return home created by Evan Besser, or known as Stardees Online. It is a fantasy animated series with humor, adventure, and a mix of both episodic and linear storytelling. After being unintentionally adopted by young girl Siona, both are taken in an adventure across the cosmos alongside their newfound friends. As all six aliens try to find their place in the world, they start to uncover that the universe has many more dark secrets than they ever could have imagined. It is inspired by Disney Channel's Wander Over Yonder and Cartoon Network's Steven Universe, it is a sci-fi space adventure with a group of unlikely kids traveling the galaxy to return a lost star home. Last year, it had been funded, with a successful Kickstarter gaining over $25,000 in funding. Currently, the pilot is in development and being produced. Link is in the description to support the upcoming project. Number 4. Hey. Hey is an upcoming animated series created by Al Tariq Harris, or known as Toonrific Tariq Online. It was featured and mentioned previously on Animation Appreciation Hub during Indie Animation Pitch Night 2023. 
It is inspired by Abbott Elementary, Bob Berger's Insecure, King of the Hill, and Bojack Horseman. It is a black love story oozing authenticity that stands firmly in how wholesome it is, showing a story of two people that loves each other and trying to figure out how to love each other. It stars Marcus and Nay finally moving in together after dating exclusively for around two years. With this, they find that the transition isn't as smooth as they thought it would be, but they're making it work. It is an adult, traditionally animated series. Currently, a script has been written and recording for the cast will start soon. Link is in the description to support the series. So with Hey, I wanted to create a show about a Black couple uh, that Black people could watch and they could smile at just when they think about how much they love each other. Number five, Atlas and the Stars. All my life, I've known that my place is out there among the stars. Atlas and the Stars is an upcoming animated series created and animated by Miranda Tony, a.k.a. going as Miranda Mations online. It follows a human and an alien trying to make their way back home after mysteriously getting tossed across universes. Miranda has previously released a mini-episode on their YouTube channel nine months ago, and the first episode of the upcoming series will premiere in late 2023 on YouTube. Link is in the description and continue to support them by their Patreon. Ah, uh, yes, because that's why people make sides. To scare people. Number 6, Maribelli, A Scoundrel's Tale, Maribelli. A Scoundrel's Tale is an upcoming indie animated series created by Adventure Noises about a fortune-seeking rogue, a headstrong princess, and her mute protector as the three uncover a tale of broken ships, oceanic tyrants, loss, and nautical nonsense aplenty. The series stars Princess Luciana and her mute companion, Rune. In the aftermath of a royal coup, Princess Luciana and her mute companion, Rune, set sail on a quest to save the world from an ancient oceanic tyrant. With few options to turn to, they enlist the aid of the Great Rymark, a formerly world-renowned sailor treasure hunter who enjoys such hobbies as abandoning responsibilities, lying, petty theft, massive theft, and also actually sailing. Exploring characters with stories filled with betrayal, loss, pride, terror, and a deep longing for something to fill the void of a home lost to the raging tides, plus terrifying sea monsters, ghost ships, mermaids, evil himbo, s, pirate queens, and all the wonders the Maribelli has to offer. Currently, it is unknown when it is set to premiere, but the indie animation studio is currently active on social media like TikTok, Twitter, and more, gaining a following, so be on the lookout and support their upcoming projects. Link in the description. Number 7, Defenders of Elodia. Defenders of Elodia is an indie 2D animated SC-Fi action-adventure cartoon series created by Naya Fey and produced by Shockwave Animation. It stars a teenage girl named Rebecca Winstead being transported to the sci-fi western fantasy world Elodia, filled with crooks, techno-wizards, aliens, and sorcerers. Imbued with enhanced archaic energy, she travels the West with wanted mercenary Zaid and a defective robot in search of a way home. It won't prove easy, though, as the vicious Barian, a scholar of the vile vexatious ruler of Elodia, is out to get her and unlock the secrets of her abilities. Episode 1 of the Defenders of Elodia pilot, The Girl Who Fell from the Stars, will release this year on YouTube and you can continue supporting the show. Link is in the description. Number 8. Sunnyside Magic High Sunnyside Magic High is an upcoming animated series created by Amin Shirazi, a.k.a. Going as Wise Kid Online. It shows the high fantasy world of Korra. It follows four magical royals who go to a prestigious high school, where they hone their magic and learn how to be rulers of their kingdoms one day. We are introduced to Crescenta, a bold but insecure princess from the Kingdom of Stars, River, a people-pleasing bookworm from the Water Kingdom, Hazel, an intuitive but naive princess from the Nature Kingdom, and Zephyr, an aloof but loyal prince from the Wind Kingdom. Though their lives are not perfect, together, they learn how to heal and embrace their true selves. However, with the threat of dark magic looming upon the horizon, things might not be as great as they think. The show will premiere on the official Sunnyside Magic High YouTube channel soon, and the pilot is currently in production. Link is in the description to support the project. Number 9, Boxtown. Boxtown is an indie animated noir buddy comedy series created by Charlie Gavin and produced by Bandit Mill Animation. 
It stars a conman detective, played by Alex Hirsch, creator of Gravity Falls and voice of Bill Cipher, Grunkle Stan and Hootie, who teams up with an innocent, true crime-obsessed orphan with a hidden murderous side, played by Tara Strong, known as the voice of Twilight Sparkle, Timmy Turner, Bubbles, and Ben 10. It is aimed primarily at adults and considered TVMA. It has violence and profanity. It includes artists and writers who are veterans of shows like Steven Universe, Inside Job, Clarence, Gravity Falls, Rick and Morty, and Bojack Horseman, along with new artistic talents from the indie animation scene. So if you love those people who help work on those shows, you'll might love Boxtown. This is their second campaign as they raised $30,000 to fund Boxtown's pre-production last year, which allowed them the chance to develop the show in its early stages, begin storyboarding, and create voiceovers. Their crowdfunding campaign for production is available in the description below, and it is currently set to premiere on YouTube sometime in fall 2023 if they finish production. Support the series in the description. Please consider supporting Boxtown. Send me the credit card numbers. And lastly, number 10, Circus of Wishes. Circus of Wishes is a 30-minute teen whimsical dark fantasy musical short film created by Eddie Mead and is traditionally 2D animated by an indie animation team in Toon Boom Harmony and After Effects. It is inspired by carnivals, Broadway theaters, and circus tents and comparable to Storytone like Coraline and Tim Burton films. After a disappointing audition for her school play, 15-year-old Sadie stumbles across a magical circus hidden away in a dark alley. The circus ringmaster, a genie like being named Mordecai Whimsy, offers her the spotlight she craves and an audience that will cheer just for her. As she finds her place on the circus stage, Mordecai's previous protege, Percy, starts to come jealous of her attention as Mordecai's shiny new plaything. Sadie begins to unravel the dark secrets behind the curtain of this otherworldly theaters, and the young performers quickly learn that if something seems too good to be true... Currently, the film is in pre-production and will release sometime in the future. Support them in the description. Well, with the state the entertainment industry is at the moment, it's more important than ever that we promote indie projects and uplift them. Indie creators deserve it, and they deserve better especially animators who from the industry that has been mistreated and starting out their own project. They deserve to be recognized and appreciated, not hated and shafted on. With this new era and approach of new indie animated films and shows coming to light, we need to be ready to promote it to the fullest extent so it can get the help it needs and deserve. As you know, the entertainment industry is constantly mistreating animated shows poorly and canceling them. Corporations are cost-cutting, making job-cutting measures, and continues to be interested in promoting IP and rebooting old properties. We feel as need to stick together and start to push indie animation forward. There are too many diverse original projects that are in the works, and they deserve to be successful too. We have seen what it can achieve with the success of Has Been Hotel, Murder Drones, Lackadaisy, and more being pushed to the fullest extent. You don't have to like every indie animation project, that's fine, but don't insult it or be rude. Indie projects deserves respect. Insulting or just being plain disrespectful to indie projects just because you think it looks weird or funny isn't okay. Corporations could be making just as much money if they cared enough about original content, but it seems as they don't care, and there are more IPS and reboots are being produced than original projects. It's not fair to them. Anyways, it seems as we reach the ending of the video. Thank you for watching and sticking with us throughout the video. We will make a top 20 indie animated project video to look forward for. We thank our supporters for watching us and don't forget to follow all the indie projects we mentioned from the video in the description. We are curious though. What indie animated project are you looking forward for? Are you excited for the future of indie animation? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.